Maybe somebody could have introduced me to him someday. I don't believe This video isn't for the miniature superheroes and villains. Parental advisory strongly recommended. Welcome to the channel. Every time I leave the house, I got the steam with body. My jacket a one of none. You never seen it probably. I took some cheddar out the park to pay the lawyer for my man. Weapon possession and felony assault. With another hand, I'm kind of And just like that, we back, people. We back, we back with another super dope comic book haul. Um, if this is the kind of content you guys enjoy, watch, please like, comment, subscribe. Simple. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. This is gonna be a video just for DC. DC for today it was light, and we got some good DC books. And we also got um, a dope. Like, I'm gonna show you some dope comic, book, uh, comic books from C2E2 this year in Chicago with a homie of mine. You guys are probably very familiar with this guy, DJ Lynx. I'll leave his, I'm running right across here for you guys. Go follow him, go subscribe to him, go check him out, see what's going on. Go follow him on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Solid dude, official tissue, and I appreciate you, homie. Um, he took care of me this this uh this past convention. Got me, got to grab three exclusive books from C2E2, which makes me happy. I missed out on uh Do You Fool. I needed the Do You Fools, man. I'm two Do You Fools, man. The Chronic Homage album cover homage and um Michael Jordan one. Where he dunked in the the jar, honey. Drippy. Those is drip. Uh, trust me guys, those is comic book drip. So if you don't have them, grab them because dogs are grabbing them joints off, off the secondary market. I wish I'd have thought about it beforehand. I'd probably try to grab it through uh, DJ Links. But nonetheless, those are books I'm definitely gonna go for. So now I'm just gonna show you the ones that he did send me. Um he sent me uh Maniac of New York. The Bronx is burning. I don't know if I showed these to you guys already. I'm sorry if I have. I was just so excited to have them in the collection. So bang bang. Soup go soup clean. Glad to have this one. This is the Jordan Javon. Uh Illuminati. Definitely dope. Definitely, definitely dope. Glad to have this in the collection. This is a trip right here, guys. Story crazy. Alright, bang. Then we got the Star Wars. Avengers number one, Rose Best, Rose Best, uh, Virgin variant right here, guys. Super dope, super clean. This one is a Frankie's Comics, um, exclusive and uh, comic mint. The comic mint that uh, was presented by them, and it's limited to 1,500 copies. This one's 1,354 out of 1,500. And here goes the certificate of authenticity. Definitely, definitely drip. This is drippy right here, guys. Super drippy right here. Virgin variant. Glad to have this in the collection. Rose Best. Like Rose I said, best. I'm a fan. And I'm a cop. And so. And then we got Gun Honey issue number three. The Smugglers. This is the uh what is this? This is the Jordan. The Jordan rookie card or whatever. So super dope, super clean, glad to have this in the collection. This is the Fleas, I believe. Fleas, maybe tops, I forget. But uh, definitely dope, super clean, glad to have this in the collection. And the bro also sent some stickers. Three stickers, I got one on the locker right here. You know if the stickers go on the locker, you know doggy rocking with you. So yeah, glad to have you. Thank you so much, homie. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Definitely dope. Definitely glad to have you. I haven't got stickers made yet, man. I don't know why. I've just been lazy, maybe. <laughs> Never really got around to them. But though you will get some uh, some swag bag stuff for you guys, man. All my subscribers, man. I'm gonna start putting that together. Everything gonna come together. Snowball somewhere around 2022, man. Just keep your ears and eyes peeled. Things gonna start happening, man. Things start happening around here, around these parts. Alright.
first up, we're gonna go off into these right here. We're gonna go into, uh, we're gonna use Key Collector today. We're gonna use Key Collector today for first appearances. What's, uh, what's basically relevant for this week? Any new characters, whatever have you. So right here, we got Nightwing. We have Nightwing. It says, story is illustrated throughout as one continuous image. So if the pages were placed side by side, they would form one complete picture. And that's uh, Nightwing 87. Nightwing 87, guys. So it's like one continuous picture, I guess. You can open up, play with it, see what's going on. Let me see what's going on here. Y'all see. I mean, I don't know how it's going to play out. I was trying to get a couple of more copies. I ain't want to be super greedy. And just uh, deplete, deplete uh, supply. His doggy has a tendency of doing that sometimes, just depleting supplies. <laughs> so, yeah, it be like that sometimes. So, super dope, super clean, glad to have this in the collection. Bang, bang. Sorry, guys, I'm still, I'm out, I'm out of the cold zone. Like, I went through the most, uh crucial part of, uh, of the cold, the beginning stages, now I'm like off the ending stages, I went to the doctor, I was nervous, I told you guys I was nervous, but I didn't want to catch that bug, that real bug, so I went to the uh, emergency care, got checked up, I'm good, it was just a common cold, but I haven't had a cold in so long, that kicked my ass, bro, but uh, you know, hey, it is what it is, man, you know, we still here, you just gotta stay Protect it. And, um, just keep yourself, keep yourself out of harm's way, man. And then we got, uh, what is this? This is a uh, Nightwing. This is the B cover, the car, the card stock variant, card stock variant right here. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. Then we have Robin. We have Robins, and the Robins say, uh, first full appearance of a female Robin who claims to be Batman's first protege. So that's super dope. She claims to be, but is she? <laughs> that's the question, right? Right. Alright, super dope, super clean. Glad I had this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. Then we have, let's see what this one has. This. This one doesn't have really nothing going on. Don't really say nothing. This is Legends of the Dark Knight number eight. Went with this cover right here. Suit dope, suit clean. Glad I had this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. Then we have Justice League Incarnate number two. Went with this cover. I believe this is the first appearance of this guy right here. I don't even know. I have to look it up. I'll run it across the screen for you guys. This is the, uh, the card stock variant. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. Then we have Justice League Incarnate. Incarnate, number two of five. This is the A cover. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. And then we have... Uh, Catwoman 38, and this is uh, this is by Jenny Frizen. So this is a cover by right here, Jenny Frizen cover by. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in the collection as well. Bang, bang, bang. And we have now these are the good ones right here. These are the dope ones right here, guys. And I hope you guys get a chance to grab a lot of these. This one right here is the Batman 1, Dark Knight number 1. It says here, first appearance of EMP, a villain who uses electrical powers. So, let's see, there's a lot of villains that use electrical powers, man, all over the, all over the uh, continuities. There's always somebody that has some kind of electrical powers going on, man. 
So this is a Jock cover written, written and drawn by Jock. Super dope, super clean. Glad I had this in the collection. This is magazine format, so you know it's super hard right now to get bags and boards to fit these right here. And I'm glad to have this in the collection. I will get bags and boards to fit those at some point. And this is the B cover to that, I believe. This one's clean right here, guys. I like this one. I like this one over the 1 in 25. I don't know if the 1 in 25 is dope, too. I'm show you the 1 in 25 for it. The 1 in 25 is dope, too, because it's like a negative space. The 1 in 25 paid $20 for it. Bang, bang, bang. Let me show you guys the, uh... Yeah, this one's pretty dope. It has, like, the matte black. And shiny glossy black. I don't know if you guys can catch it. Hopefully you guys can catch the picture. Yeah, that, that might be a little better for you guys. Man. See that picture a little bit? Yeah, man. It's blacked out. Blacked out. Everything black, man. Everything black. It's a blackout variant. This is the blackout variant, y'all. You only see little Batman eyes and shit. But, um, and then you have... Then we have, let me see, then we have uh, Catwoman, Lonely City number two, and this is the first appearance of OG Beast, a character inspired by KGB Beast, KG Beast, whatever have you. Didn't get the 1 in 25 for that, but I did get the A cover, super dope, super clean, glad to have it in the collection, bang, bang, bang. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. And there you have it, guys. Super clean, super dope. Glad to have it in collection. And then last but not least, we have the 1 in 25. This wasn't solicited on Key Collectors app or nothing. But uh, still, super dope, super clean. This is the 1 in 25 Justice League Incarnate number 2. 1 in 25, guys. Bang, bang, bang. And with that said, we gone. <laughs> with that said, we gone, man. This is a short video, man. Just something to keep you guys entertained for a little while until we do the Marvel indie stuff like that. I know we've been on a little hiatus on this channel. But just have patience with Doggy, man. I'm, I'm still in the loop. I'm just getting over my little cold. And um, everything's going to be back to normal and regular scheduled programming. And um, I hope you guys enjoy your holidays, enjoy your New Year's. If you don't hear from Doggy, you know, from now to then, you know, appreciate it, man. It's, you know, we got one life to live, man. Enjoy it. My New Year's resolution, I'm going to just say, as far as comic book collector, I want to be more of a smarter consumer, collector, and uh, make wiser decisions, man, my purchases. You know what I'm saying for the coming 2022 and hopefully score some bigger books guys bigger books comic gods comic gods comic gods bless us bless us bless us bless us bless us bless us alright man I'm gonna leave you to it man doggy man love y'all stay safe leave you to it doggy oh, dog ah, doggy yeah